What is going on guys, this is Jim from Locality Balls. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I wanna to talk about whether it's okay to cohabitate your balls or if there are a lot of issues that could occur if you keep two balls in the same enclosure. I brought you a Suriname True Red Tail Ball Constrictor Constrictor today. She's an F1 female from 2020. She's from a different litter than the male I showed you previously. Uh, she has a much darker a tail. It's like a dark brown red. I think it's really, really cool. She has beautiful, beautiful markings in between her saddles. She has a beautiful head markings. I don't know if you can see that now. She's kind of active, but perfect animal to talk about cohabitating balls. Before we talk about the positive and negative aspects of cohabitating balls, you need to ask yourself why would I even keep two balls in the same enclosure in the first place? So the most common answer to this question is space. If I built an enclosure and I keep one ball in this enclosure, I would always recommend adding 30% of the total space of the enclosure to put another animal in it. So if you would build two enclosures, you would take off about 70% more space than if you put two balls in the same enclosure. That's really just what works for me. It also depends on your requirements that your law has. So here in Germany, it's I think it's you need to add 20% to put another animal in the enclosure. I always do 30% because I just think you can't provide too much space. But it's a lot easier for me to keep the animals I have uh, in this room by keeping them in pairs together. That's really, first off, one thing, another aspect why I like to keep balls together is that I think it's really cool to watch them in the enclosure, you know, exploring and I also like to see well, the different characteristics that each individual animal has. So some animals are more active, some animals are less active, some animals prefer the warm side of the enclosure, the other one the cool side. And I think as long as you provide enough space and enough heights for your animals, they don't really seem to be stressed out. That's really something that I read a lot in Facebook groups or in other platforms that people say, yeah, they're more stressed out if you keep two balls. I think they're only stressed out if you don't provide enough space. If you don't provide enough space for one snake in one enclosure, they will also be stressed out. So it doesn't really always seem to be because of another animal that's in the enclosure. So the enclosure size and you know your decoration and all that good stuff that comes into your enclosure, you just really need to add more to it if you put another snake in it. So you need to provide more heights, you need to provide larger heights, you need to provide a larger water dish because there could be two animals in it at the same time soaking. I would also recommend if you put a shelf in underneath your heat panel or lamp or whatever you use as a heating element, I would also add more size to that as well so two animals could lay on that shelf at the same time. I would always recommend you keep balls from the same locality together. Don't keep your Central American Imperator with your South American Red Tail Ball together because they just need different husbandry requirements. So my South American Suriname ball needs different husbandry requirements than my Colombian Imperator. This ball needs different temperatures, they need a uh, different humidity, it's just a little bit different so I wouldn't keep two balls from different localities together even though I don't think that they would not do well together just by being together but it's more about the husbandry requirements so always put balls together that come from kind of the same region or preferably even the same locality. I would always recommend you keep balls from the same litter or at least the same breeder together because chances of diseases being transmitted between your balls is more likely if you keep them in the same enclosure than just in the same room. So if I had one ball that is positive for a virus or another uh, infection that's transmittable uh, between those snakes, it's more likely to be transmitted if it's in the same enclosure because body fluids could be exchanged, feces in the same enclosure can transmit diseases. So I would always recommend you keep two balls from the same litter or the same breeder together that just you know lowers the risk of diseases being transmitted. If you had get a ball from a different breeder, it could carry something that this ball does not have and then this ball could get sick. All those things you need to really keep in mind if you uh, cohabitate your balls. A negative aspect of keeping your balls together is that you need to really separate them when you feed them or you need to really watch them while you feed them. If one ball is in the one side of the enclosure and the other ball is on the other side of the enclosure, 
you need to really watch them while you feed them so you can't just put like the rodent in or you could not just like get that one ball to you know strike at the rodent and just leave and do something else you need to really watch them if you keep them in the same enclosure i personally separate most of my balls when i feed them i have some balls that have a really chill food response so after they eat and they just really chill out and are not in this you know food mode still and the other balls i uh, separate so i put them in a plastic box for example put them in a tub in my rack to feed them and then approximately 30 minutes after i fed them i put them back and a little tip that works for me is that i spray the enclosure after i fed the one animal in the enclosure and i spray the enclosure so the scent of the rodent is kind of uh, going away that ball that is in there kind of loses that you know fooding response or it just goes away faster I and mean, it works for me personally it's just a little just a little tip for me so you can like spray the enclosure before you put that other animal back so the uh, animal that is in, still in the enclosure is not mistaken that animal you put back for food because that's what happens sometimes because balls get crazy when they're in feeding mode so um, they really would strike at everything really sometimes i spray the enclosure and they, they strike at the water so they're in their hide and you know just the head sticks out and i spray the enclosure and the, the water is just kind of going on their head and they just strike at the water until they notice okay it's, it's not a road and it's something that you really got to watch because you don't want your one ball injuring that other ball or even end up uh, losing one ball because the other ball, ball strangled that ball to death or even ate it. I keep a lot of balls together. I always keep the siblings together or keep my pairs together. Um, as I said, they're all from the same breeder usually. And I personally never had any issues with my balls living together. Some people, they say, yeah, you shouldn't keep them together only when breeding. I think with the true red tail balls, they really depend on the seasonal changes. And sometimes it's not, okay, now it's, you know, fall is coming, so now they should go into breeding mode. Sometimes these animals, just have their own you know body clock and they feel like okay now the outside temperature here is changing i might turn on the heater so the relative humidity in the room kind of decreases so the animals get into breeding mode and with these three red tail balls that are a lot harder to breed than the boar imperators i think it's easier to not miss their breeding cycle if you just keep them together throughout the year because they will just breed when the time is right they will breed when they feel like it and honestly, I don't think anyone cares if their balls breed during, you know, May or whatever. As long as they breed and as long as they're ha healthy and happy and, um, you know, have healthy litters, I think it's, it doesn't really matter what time of year they breed in. And so it's the chances that you miss that breeding cycle is a lot less if you keep them together the whole year. With the ball constrictor imperators, it's not that big of a deal because they're usually a lot easier to breed. They get into breeding mode easier and uh, they will not ha give you a hard time uh, you know breathing or figuring out how to stimulate them and they will just be easier i've talked to a lot of people i know a lot of people that keep balls together that don't experience any issues i even went and talked to people that keep other snake species so for example corn snakes uh, some people keep pythons even people that keep rattlesnakes so i will uh, show you some pictures of cohabitating rattlesnakes and i think it's really something up to you if you say i don't think it's cool to cohabitate my boss just don't do it just build two enclosures your boss are going to be happy if you say i think it's cool to have two balls in the same enclosure build a larger enclosure than you normally would and your boss are going to also be happy just watch those things don't keep different localities together or at least try not to keep different localities together try to keep balls in the same age and size because a small ball like this can easily be crushed by a 10 foot uh, Suriname female that is you know I don't know 30 40 pounds uh, could easily crush this little ball an accident so you should definitely keep balls together that are in kind of the same size weight and age other than that you can definitely provide a, a good home for your boss, keeping them together or not, as long as you provide enough space. As a matter of fact, the breeder where I got these uh, beautiful, beautiful F1 Surinams keeps all his wild caught five balls together in one large, large enclosure and they are all chill together. Sometimes they're by themselves, but they breed, they reproduce every two years and they're wild caught animals and there's no behavior whatsoever that could uh, lead to the thought that they are stressed out or anything they're really chill animals i will show you some pictures of the parents of this animal uh, but yeah they're just beautiful beautiful animals to look at i think it's really beautiful to see different uh, animals in one enclosure 
and I've never really had any issues with it. Just really personal preference here again, uh, whatever you think is right, uh, as long as you provide the perfect husbandry in the enclosure, you shouldn't have problems cohabitating your boss. I hope you liked this video, I hope you found it helpful, I hope uh, you have a better idea of cohabitating boss now. Please write a comment if you cohabitate your boss or if you think no, never, uh, that's a no-go, please write a comment also, let's have a discussion about this. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, make sure you like the video, make sure you turn on the bell, share the video and also follow my Instagram, the Instagram's linked below. I post pictures daily of the snakes I keep and all other reptile related stuff so make sure you check that out also and I see you on the next video.